You know, Dana White is an amazing guy. What I like the most about him is that he has, look, he has the right attitude when it comes to gambling. And I'll tell you what the right attitude is. Because I know people are going to say, well, hey, Father, you always say you don't condone gambling. And you're saying that gambling, you know, is obviously, uh, it's rigged. Just like the stock market can be rigged and only an idiot gambles. Well, not when you're Dana White. Not when you're Dana White. I'll explain to you why. See, Dana White understands that this system is designed for you to lose. He, he's got it. He's not like one of those idiots, you know, who goes down, let's go to Vegas, let's go party, you know, and everyone goes down there and they're drinking and they're partying and they bring money that they know they're going to lose. They're not going to Vegas to win, they're going there to lose, okay? Dana White, he don't care about the casinos, friggin' alcohol, he, yeah, he's got a host, but he doesn't give a shit. The guy's got more money than, forget about it, all of those people at the casinos, the guy is friggin' loaded. Millions and millions and millions. He's guy. He don't give a shit. That guy could lose. That guy could lose ten million dollars. It'll be like asking for a glass of water. He doesn't care. Okay. So what happens is that he's like the best of all worlds when it comes to gambling, and I'll tell you why. Because not only does this guy have money, he also has power. This is the guy. Okay. Who he's he's the president of the UFC, but at one point. You know, it was, it was, his, it's all his, it was, it was, the UFC was his, man. He, 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 you know, he still runs the show technically, but he sold it for a fortune. Now he's the president. But now here's the thing, you know, he's such a great blackjack, you know, uh, player, such a great card player. Okay. That what he does is he waits, you know what I'm saying? He waits just for the right move, makes a gigantic, huge bet and he wins. He's out. That's the thing. He's not, he's not looking to stay there all night. But he'll bet seventy five thousand a one shot. or bet a hundred thousand a one shot. He, all he needs to do is hit once or, or two times. He wins a hundred, two hundred grand. He's out of there. Hey, that's not too shabby for a night's work. You know, what I mean? that's it. He's in and out, just like in and out friggin' burgers. Now he does so well that these effing casinos don't even want him to come back. Well, they they don't mind that he comes to the casino, but they don't want him to gamble because he always wins. So they're like, you know, we're cutting you off. That's it. You know, we're sending you your walking papers. You can never, I think I was watching it the other day, like the palms cut them off. You know, you know they're like, don't never gamble here again. But what's great about him is he's got that power. He goes, yeah, I'm cutting you off too, mother effers. I'm taking the UFC out of your casino. No, 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 no. Go F yourself. So it's just such a unique situation, right? To be in a situation of tremendous money, tremendous power, and the right temperament, which very few gamblers have. Goes in there, wins, in, out, keep your food, keep your alcohol. I'm an effing millionaire. I love it. I love it. Dana White is the man.